Welcome everyone to HFN. Today is July the 17th, 2020, and we're going to try to answer the question whether or not if Bitcoin is a buy or a sell. You guys have been watching our videos over the last couple of weeks, months. We've been tracking Bitcoin and the market has just been traded within the trading channel. And we need to try to make a determination as to what the market sentiment really is in Bitcoin in a sense of is there strength or is there weakness? So that's what we're going to talk about today on this video and try to give you all a forecast prediction as to what we're understanding based off historic information as to what's the likely next move for Bitcoin. So if this is your first time watching our video, hit the like button, share the video, subscribe to the channel, then join our community on our website at hughfinancial.com or join us on other social media platforms, Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Now, the last time we did our video on Bitcoin was on July the 13th, 2020. If you guys could go back and watch that video, you'll see there that we originally had a descending line going on in the market for Bitcoin. And we decided to take that off on that video simply because Bitcoin broke that descending line to the sideways. It, it broke it sideways. It didn't break it to the upside and didn't break it to the downside. But what I want to show you is that in fact that downtrend that we had going on in the market in bitcoin it is still playing an active role in bitcoin so here we are i want to show you this so the market in bitcoin is still obeying this line we got rid of the line on the 13th right here because the market generally was just trading sideways away from that descending line but of late the market in bitcoin is still touching you guys can see right there on the 14th and then again on the 16th the market in bitcoin is touching that descending line so we're still tracking bitcoin in a sense of weakness the market in bitcoin is still following this descending line so in general at least the market hasn't changed the weakness is still here in bitcoin so that is one in the camp of Bitcoin being a sell. Now for Bitcoin being a buy, the market is still in a trading channel. Nothing has adjusted the market since we came into this trading channel since like the beginning half of May. The market has been trading in between $8,800 all the way up there to around 10 grand. So that's a plus for the buy camp. When you look at Bitcoin on a weekly time frame, you can see that out of the last seven weeks, including this week, Bitcoin have seen only one up week. One. Every other week after that or before that has been a close lower than the previous week. So from a long term perspective, we're not really seeing a lot of bullishness coming into the market in Bitcoin. When you look at Bitcoin on the four hour chart. You just do not see a lot of emphasis of trying to continue to pursue this market higher in Bitcoin. So we had on our last video, the expectation of Bitcoin moving higher. We're going to continue to hold on to that forecast. But let me tell you this, this area right here, $9,000 will have to be the let go point of this forecast. So if the market in Bitcoin continues to see that weakness and we see weakness on the breakage of $9,000 to the downside, this forecast is not right. I'm telling you that right now. So I'm looking at the market in Bitcoin at $9,000. If we see this market tag $9,000 on weakness, this forecast that we're producing is not right. But if we see strength come in at $9,000, this forecast is going to continue on into the market. Okay. So at $9,000 on weakness, that would be 3.34% market loss in this forecast. So I just want to come in, give you all a very quick update video for Bitcoin as to make the determination if, to, if it's a buy or a sell. And to tell you the truth, the market is still undecided. It hasn't made a definitive bias as to whether or not it's going to move higher or lower. Now, generally, based off what I said so far, the market in Bitcoin is more weaker than it is stronger. So keep that in mind as we continue to see this 
market in Bitcoin trade. Until we see strength coming to this particular coin, the market of Bitcoin will move lower. And you might be saying, well, that's contradictory to what you're trying to show in this price chart. Well, it's not because we understand that we have chances to allow this market in Bitcoin to come down to 9,000. Now, on the breakage of weakness at $9,000, then yeah, we understand that that's a chance that you have to be willing to take when you're understanding what the market is trying to read to you. And this is what it's reading. It's reading that the market is weak. We understand that we see that, but there's not that much weakness here. You know, when you look, come down here at the bottom of my price chart, you guys can see that the volume in Bitcoin is not extenuating. It is not massive. It is not producing any ideas that the market is about to make a massive movement to the downside or even to the upside. Not right now. And that's one of the main reasons why we're going to continue on with this forecast in Bitcoin. Now, we had our TP on the 13th of July at $9,400 to 96. So we're going to continue to hold on to that. And even though we got rid of our descending line on our last video, I'm going to continue to play it on this forecast now. Okay, I'm going to bring it back just for we continue to see this market in Bitcoin. Seemingly look like it's almost every day Bitcoin is tagging or touching this descending line. So right there at $9,000, you guys can see maybe tomorrow, today, Bitcoin can still tag that $9,000 area and move higher. Now, that's the thing I would like to see because it gives me more confirmation that Bitcoin is still buying for higher price or at best, we're just going to continue to trade within this trading channel that we've been in since the beginning half of May. Okay. So this is our expectations. Hope you guys understand exactly what I'm saying, um, that the market generally is weak, but we're going to hold on to our forecast to see if we're going to get that strength to come in around $9,000. Because if so, our forecast is still on point. But if we crash or close below $9,000 on weakness, then this forecast is wrong. And it will be at a forecast loss of about 3.34%. Okay. So you guys got questions or comments as always, let us know. Uh, make sure you maintain a profitability and I will talk to you all on the next one.